The Lee and Rose Warner Nature Center WNC is an outdoor education facility with a focus on natural history. It is located in Marine on St. Croix, Minnesota, northern Washington County about 30 miles 48 kilometers northeast of St. Paul, Minnesota. Warner was the first private nature center in the state of Minnesota. With funding from the Warner Foundation, WNC is the only nature center in the state of Minnesota to still provide free on-site programming to schools. Mission To build lasting relationships between people and the natural world. Site The Lee and Rose Warner Nature Center is a 700-acre outdoor school set in undeveloped woodland, marsh, lake, bog, grasslands. The site also includes a restoration prairie and savanna. There are over 6 miles 10 kilometers of trails on the property but they are not marked and are only for use by groups who have booked a program with the naturalist staff. The center adjoins Wilder Forest and the combined area of the two organizations approaches 2,000 acres square kilometers. Warner is also the western anchor for the Metro Greenways Corridor which protects a greenway landscape of land for 5 miles 8 km between WNC and the St. Croix River the whole corridor protects approximately 2,400 acres 9.7 square kilometers. Warner is home to a wild population of threatened Blanding's turtles. In part because of their presence, the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources has designated the land Warner sits on as important for species in greatest conservation need and a regionally significant ecological area with a level 3 designation, the highest possible. History WNC is the oldest private nature center in the state of Minnesota and serves about 17,000 people per year, 9,000 of which are school children, with outdoor natural history programming. The first director, Bernie Faschingbauer began work in 1965 as construction began on the main building. The project was initiated by the St. Paul Science Museum, now the Science Museum of Minnesota, the Amherst H. Wilder Foundation and the Junior League of St. Paul. By the spring and fall of 1966, orientation sessions began for teachers. The first students arrived on site in the fall of 1967. At the time, the center was known as both the Wilder Nature Center and the Science Museum Nature Center. In 1970, the Lee and Rose Warner Foundation purchased 300 acres (1.2 square kilometers) of land and the existing Nature Center buildings from the Amherst H. Wilder Foundation to serve as a memorial to founders Lee and Rose Warner of St. Paul. Warner Nature Center is still associated with the Science Museum of Minnesota and financially supported primarily through the generosity of the Lee and Rose Warner Foundation. Warner has a strong legacy of volunteerism. When Bernie Faschingbauer told people he was going to use volunteer trail guides to take groups of students out on the trails people told him he was crazy. Forty years later, over 100 volunteers continue to dedicate their time to students. Warner employs eight full-time staff, two part-time staff, and up to two interns. Awards. The Warner Nature Center was recognized with an award of excellence by the Mutual of Omaha's Wildlife Heritage Center for displaying leadership and vision in promoting awareness and appreciation of our natural world. Partnerships The Warner Nature Center is associated with the Science Museum of Minnesota one of the nation's leading science education centers. Warner is a partner with Bird Conservation Minnesota. Warner is a partner site with the Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology on the Nestwatch program. 
Warner staff provide training workshops and maintain online camera feeds of nests in the spring. Topic Footnotes Topic External Links Warner Nature Center Official Website Instant Weather Data Live Feed of WNC Weather Station via AWS Clear Sky Chart Astronomy Weather Predictions for Warner Nature Center Seek Description Warner's Listing on Seek Sharing Environmental Education Knowledge Go City Kids Go City Kids Official Listing for Warner Nature Center Nestwatch Warner's Nestwatch page at Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology